what's up youtube how's it going back on this uh 2012 mission mission galant all right it's time for me to go ahead and get it moved out i'll move around anyway so this is the original the one that came in it and it had a wreck this is the replacement like i said i'm gonna do this on the budget build as well uh i'm taking the bulbs out of the old one put in the new one so I'm gonna swap these bulbs out and I'm gonna try to put it back in the slot but I can already see right now we got damage frame damage right here so I might pull it out I know I'm gonna pull it out pull it out but first off I'm gonna see if the lights uh, if the lights work if the lights work I move forward and go from there make sure ain't nothing cut uh, broke or pinched Look a piece of the old light so yeah uh, uh, they drove it here, so I know where to start. Uh, no leaks. Uh, got my little jump pack. I'm going to plug it up. Hook it up and see if it uh, starts up. And then if so, I'm going to move it closer to my garage or in the garage so I can work on it a little bit more. So, uh, the bumper. I think the bumper was 100, 150, something like that. And the grill, I don't know if we came in or not, but technically... If I can fix that and save the grill and then the hood, the hood got damaged, which I'm going to try to save that, try to save it. So we'll see. Besides that, ain't nothing that's wrong with it. So, yeah, let me get to it and we'll go from there. All right. I got it on. I can hear the bell dinging. Charger. I don't know if my charger's charged it up, but my thing is, I want to see if the lights work. So, yeah, off. That should be on right there. So we should have. Oh yeah, that's on. That one on. That one on. Let's see what we got. Bingo. We got action. That one working. That one working. Turn it on. Let me see if I turn it on. That's a good sign. I don't know that one. I know another way. Put them hands on. Here we go. No, that should work. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Alright, got it working. Got it started. Quiet too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this stuff out the way. I'm gonna pull it up closer. Now that I know that uh that's going to work. A lot of times they tell you, if you leave a bumper out in the sun long enough, it'll uh, reform itself back to the original shape. So it's been out here for months, but I'm just happy to see this working. That means I know, whoop, trying to burn up something. So I'm going to put that headlight on there, turn these lights off. So I'll burn up something. Turn them off. That should be off. Yep, that's off. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna move this. I wanna move it somewhere closer. Alright, y'all stay tuned.
what I've done so far was is to take these grip pliers and uh, this was bent so I pried it out this was bent so I pried it out this was bent in and I pried it out this one was bent in and I pried it out This is still bent in. I'm gonna pry it out, but right now I just want to see the mounting points for the headlight, which is this is one, this is one, and I see they got a pin back here. And that's all I see. So three mounting. Then you go over here and look at the other side. You got one right here. You got one right here, and the other one is probably right there right there so three mounting points so i've touched them three let's see if this thing will fit in here all right so so far it's almost lined up uh, got a side mount it's almost lined up there that's not too bad and you come around here this is where it's at so this is hit in that way so technically this need to come out this way and it's touching right here so either that and then look how far i am from my mount so this needs to go right here but it's not bad though so i'm gonna take this headlight out i'm gonna bang this in more this way i may even try to pull this or some more this way and give that more room in between there and see if it'll fit up then once you get the fitment in everything else is easy so y'all hold on stay tuned all right there she is. Both headlights, both park lights, turn signals, everything on. Uh, all I gotta do is adjust, get this gap together. I got the mounting up there. I got it mounted on the side. And then all I gotta do is find a little boat to go right there. And she done. Everything working. So now I'm gonna try to put this bumper on, but like I said, I didn't wanna make this video too long. So just to let you know, oh, as you can see, either that's the wrong battery. Now I didn't do this, it was like this when I got it. Either that's the wrong battery, I, uh, something ain't right, but I'm going to address that here in a second too. But uh, she's been running the last 30 minutes or so, but yeah, uh, no leaks as well neither. So nice little starter car. Like I said, that's the only damage that was on. Oh yeah, then I got to address that hood. So I don't know, but uh, y'all make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers this year, 2024. So with y'all help, I know I can do it. All right. Let me uh, see, can I get this bumper on? If not, uh, always make sure you leave a comment. All right, peace. Okay, got you back on. All right, let me show you the progress. So, right now, I'm lining up the holes, the mounting holes of the front bumper. That's a guide. That guide, that broke off, but that's fine. I can put something in that. And you got these up here, so technically, it's gonna go back like that. All you gotta do is line them holes up. Harbor Freight, push pin, fastener, $10. So, I'm gonna line it up on the side. I'm gonna put this back on here. I'll work on that later. But right now, I'm just trying to get the fitment back up. All this stuff is fixable. All you gotta do is just take your time and uh, figure it out. So y'all stay tuned, I'm still working on it. Boy, look at here. I don't think that's part of the uh, battery tray. Somebody's been here before. It's like a two by four, so technically that's telling me that the battery too short. It ain't tall enough to reach the battery post. And yes, the battery is out, and as you can see, it's still running. That's a good car. So I'm gonna go ahead and address this issue now because I ain't like the way that look. Alright, y'all stay tuned. Alright, so this is what I figured out. Either the cables if somebody put this one on here, it's not, I don't think this is from the factory. Somebody put this one on and they it wouldn't reach. Now this looks like speaker wire for uh, stereo system. So I know that ain't right. So uh, either they, this is the wrong battery, which I'm thinking it is because this one will reach, positive reach, but the negative won't. So either they cut this one too short or this is the wrong battery. So what I'm gonna do now is run up here to the parts store and see can I find me a negative 
it fits on this side and a positive this fits on this side and then they'll go right on but i'm still gonna change that out because that ain't right so uh give me a second like i said y'all let me know what i need to do do i need to stop right here or keep on going because i like this little car i'm gonna get a detail and everything so y'all stay with me well ladies and gentlemen brand new battery let's see i think i was right on about this one i told you ground that was the wrong battery because look the cables fit right on no stretching and no nothing brand new battery lights pop right on too that means i must have left the switch on and i did and now they off Things out the way. Alright. Now that I got those tightened up. Move these out the way. Let's see what we're gonna do. Reach in. No, no pat the gas. Fly right on up. Let's bump a little bit more and I'm gonna drive it around the corner. See how she do. She started right on up. Good cold and heat working. Good car. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 